up with that bit in the Bible where it tells people to rip pregnant women open and dash their little ones on the ground if they worship pagan gods. Seems like pretty standard biblical stuff to me. God hates people worshipping pagan gods. If you do, it says he'll tear down your churches, desolate your cities, even make you eat your own children. Even the first commandment, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Well, isn't that kind of admitting that there are other gods out there besides him? Like, why is he so insecure about that? If he was the one and only God like he claimed, why would he care? God is a jealous God. He's pretty famously insecure. I think jealous is an understatement if he's making people eat their children. Why that much hate? He can't be jealous of gods that don't exist. So why is he trying so hard to silence pagans? If he knows that the pagan gods do exist, but he just doesn't want us knowing that. Well, firstly, control of information is a sign of a dictatorship. But secondly, what's God hiding? What doesn't he want us to find out? I don't know, but it's also worth noting that he doesn't want witches to live. What? It's in Exodus, look it up. But it's not just them, he also trash talks mediums and necromancers in Leviticus. Again, in condemning these things, he's kind of admitting that they exist, but necromancers? That's so specific. It makes you wonder if there's some people or gods that he doesn't want being brought back to life. It's also worth noting that when God is depicted in Revelation, he's surrounded by a rainbow that strongly resembles the Bifrost. Loki, Loki, Loki. If he really wanted people to forget that pagan gods and witches exist, he should probably stop bringing it up all the time. Yeah, in retrospect, it seems like a bit of an oversight, but this is the same guy who named the new Underworld after his daughter, so not the brightest apple in the bunch.